everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys a new watercolor book by my friend garima so she sent me her book she just released this book and i'm so excited it has so many projects look how thick that book is so she really worked so hard on this book and i'm so proud of her but let's just quickly browse through some of the pages so it's categorized in different um, subjects, which is nice. If you're just starting out, you can try out different um, subjects to paint. And then she talks about supplies, brushes, and also how to mix colors, some brush work drills, and watercolor techniques. And then there's even an abstract uh, section here, which is really nice. So I think I want to try something a little bit different, not the florals, but she has some florals here. Yeah, so I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm thinking of doing the mushroom. Let me just find it. Okay, so this one, so it's not my usual style and I want to try it out. Uh, so I need some um, transparent orange, but I think I don't have that color, so I'm gonna look for a different one. And if I still have time, I wanna paint the glazed dough that because it looks so cute. Okay, so let's start. Alright, so I think I want to copy like the shape of the mushroom first. I'm going to lightly draw using my pencil. So I'm using my brass pencil. I love pencils that look like this. I don't know, it just looks cute and different. So maybe I'm just going to change the shape later on, but at least I have a guide. And there's also um, mushrooms here okay so I'm not gonna draw too much details okay all right so I'm mixing um, crimson lake and burnt umber but it's supposed to be permanent alizarin crimson so I think the color might be a little bit different just going to paint this area okay I'm <laughs> losing control over there so she said that to put transparent orange um, in the middle so we don't really have that let's try maybe burnt sienna with some orange just put it here in the middle I'm gonna add a little bit of vermilion and then um, I'm gonna mix some sepia and she said to put it uh, closer to the edges. Alright, so I have a medium consistency here and okay, let's just drop it here, get a little bit more rustic. Just gonna add more water to some areas just to add some like texture so it looks a little bit uneven next um, we're supposed to use a watery consistency for the burnt umber for the stalk all right so we are supposed to paint this part right here I think we're gonna leave this one at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna paint it first. 
I'm going to paint the stock first. Okay, and then I'm going to grab more bright umber, put some like, texture. Alright, so next we're gonna go to the other mushrooms. So she said that we need to mix permanent rose with a little bit of cadmium yellow. Um, I think I don't have cadmium yellow, so we're gonna mix permanent yellow deep. So it looks like a blush pink color. It's going to look like an umbrella. Just gonna make like a jagged edge here and then another one right here. Okay. And I'm supposed to add a little bit of transparent orange at the bottom part. I think it's gonna give it more depth. Alright. Then we need a burnt umber. Just going to connect it to this bigger mushroom. Maybe add some shadow there. Okay. Gonna fix that. I think if I use a smaller brush, it would have been easier. It says to use a size two round brush. Okay, now we're gonna add some gray over there. I'm gonna mix cobalt blue and um, burnt umber. Just need a gray color. Alright, so while this is still waiting to dry, I'm going to put the, the details right here. Let's use sepia and add some color. Okay, I'm going to grab some more color. I think I want to add some burnt umber. Next, I'm going to put the lines here just for some texture. I'm using a size 2 round brush. Grab some more color and kind of add some texture here. Let's add some more color. And I'm also going to add some shadow. Then start adding some fades. Add some dry brush. Um, I feel like it looks nice. Okay, 
So for the leaves, we mix cobalt blue and cadmium yellow. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna mix it with whatever I have. We add some more brown. Alright, so we're just going to add some small leaves here. I think it's just to fill in some like white spaces. Okay. And here I want to add some more like texture. I think I overdid this part. Let me just try and clean it up. And for some reason, it needs a little bit of splatter, I think. Alright. Alright, so I took the liberty to add a little bit of my touch. I added some gold. It just goes so well with an autumn palette. So I'm using this Kuretake Gold Mika. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is her uh, book. This is my work. I think it looks a bit similar because she really gave the instructions really well. Um, and it was, it was very easy, very approachable. Uh, it was a step-by-step -step, uh, instruction. And I think I appreciate that, uh, especially because this is not a subject that I paint. I'm not even sure if it's the first time I'm painting a mushroom, but it turned out quite nice and I really love it. So if you are interested, you can find the link of her book in the description box below. Alright, so I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!